Welcome to ExcelWorks video tutorials. The title of this presentation is How to Compute Integrals in Excel and Google Sheets with the function QuadF. In this presentation, we will show you how to use the QuadF function to compute accurate numerical integrals in Excel and Google Sheets. We will be looking at standard integrals with fixed limits, improper integrals with infinite limits, integrals with known or singular points, and multiple integrals of higher dimension functions. Let's begin by describing the parameters for the integration function quadf. Quadf requires four parameters. The first one is a reference to the formula to integrate. The second parameter is a reference to the formula variable of integration. The third parameter is the lower limit of integration, which can be a number or a or a string for an infinite limit and the fourth parameter is the upper limit of integration there are two additional optional parameters the fifth one is algorithm control and the sixth parameter allows you to supply non singular point for the integrand quadf is based on the numerical integration library quadpack which offers adaptive and fixed order gauss integration rules unfortunately quadf is not a standard built-in function in Excel or Google Sheets. To enable QuadF in your Excel or Google Sheets, you'll have to install the Excel App Calculus Functions add-in. If you are on a Windows PC, download and install Excel App 7 from excel-works.com. Or if you have Office 365 subscription, you can also install directly from Microsoft App Source. If you are on an Apple Mac, then you have to install the Excel App 365 from Microsoft App Source Store. Simply from your Excel ribbon, click on Insert, and then select Get Add-ins, search for Calculus, and you'll find it there. Just click Add, and it will be enabled automatically in your Excel. If you are using Google Sheets, just search for Google Sheets Calculus Functions Add-on on Google Marketplace, and you can install it directly from there. So let's begin by performing the following simple integrals. We will look at two proper integrals and two improper integrals directly in Excel. We will be doing the demonstration in Excel, but the procedure is virtually identical in Google Sheets. I've started Excel with a blank workbook and I copied the integrals for reference. So let's start by performing the first integral. I'm going to simply represent the integrand in this example with a simple formula equal the len function and I'm going to choose x1 as my variable of integration divide this by the square root of x1 I could have chosen any other variable x1 is just a convenient name if I hit enter we get a num error and that is expected because obviously the logarithmic function is not defined at 0 and x1 is empty and by default its value is 0. So we have to resolve this error to continue working with the functions in XELAB and that's necessary only if you are using XELAB 365 which I happen to be at the moment. If you are using XELAB 7 or Google Sheets, you can proceed without having to fix that numerical error here. But for now, let's go to cell X1 and insert any value here to avoid the division by 0 and the logarithmic of 0. So the error is resolved and this is our formula right here. So next I'm just going to invoke the quadf function in a simple formula. The first argument is a reference to my integrand formula, which is in this case a3. My second parameter is the variable of integration, which is x1. And the third and fourth parameters are my limits, 0 and 1. Simply hitting enter will compute the integral. In this case, it's minus 4. Now I could also do the integration as follows. I don't have to define the integrand in a separate cell. I could actually just define it in line as follows. Mm -hmm. 
and it will give us the same answer. The second example is pretty much the same idea. I'm going first to define my integrand in a formula. and simply invoke quad f function. Passing the formula reference, the variable of integration, and my limits. And I get the answer. We can compute improper integrals the same way. Let's define the first integral. and integrated with quad f. Uh, my lower limit for integration in this case is going to be a string minus infinity and my upper limit is also a string infinity and I get the answer. This is another example where you have mixed limits a number and a string and we get the answer. Dealing with singular points. Let's look at the function 1 over x, which obviously has a singular point at x equals 0. The first thing is if we attempt to integrate this function from 0 to 1, the integral is just non-existent. You cannot calculate that integral. As x approaches 0, the integral com continues to grow and it's unbounded. However, if you integrate from minus 1 to 1 or from any negative value to any positive value, it cancels out. The negative area here cancels the positive area as you, as you see in the graph, and the net would be 0. However, if you, if you try to use the default algorithm with this particular integral, it will fail because of the singular point in the integral. We can make use of the optional arguments to tell the algorithm that we have a, an irregular point at x equals 0 as shown in the form formula at the bottom and that will succeed. So let's try this again in Excel. So let's try first to integrate 1 over x from 0 to 1. And I get division by 0, which is expected, because I have not defined x1 to a non-zero value. Let's just put 1 in here. So now the quad f attempts to calculate and it gives us an error. We can point at the error here and it tells us extremely bad integrant behavior occurs at some point of the integration interval. So quad f is unable to calculate this integral, but we know that actually this integral is undefined. Now let's try to integrate from minus 1 to 1. Again, it's actually unable to calculate the integral pretty much the same error message. But we know why now. We can actually select a different algorithm by using the optional argument number 6 as follows. Simply by telling it that we have an irregular point at x equals 0, it will automatically default to a different algorithm appropriate for these kind of integrals. So let's try this.
Now I'm going to skip over argument number five, which is for algorithm control, and so, and pass the number zero in argument number six, simply telling it that there is a, a regular point at x equals zero. Now it calculates correctly the integral is zero. In the event quad f is unable to calculate the integral properly or having difficulty converging, uh, the first thing you want to try if you are certain that your integral exists is to try a different algorithm. And you can do that in the optional argument number five using the key algor as I demonstrate in this formula right here. So in argument five, we can use the constant array syntax, which is convenient to pass the key and a value for the key. There are a number of algorithms available and those are listed at the help page for Quad F. You can check it out at excel-works.com, manual Quad F. These algorithms range from locally adaptive, like QAGS, which is the most accurate but more but most sensitive, uh, to globally adaptive, like the default algorithm QAG, a fixed rule like QK15. If you want to go to a stable algorithm, try the QK15. And if that continues to have difficulty conversion, then most likely your integrand is unbounded. And if you want the highest accuracy, then try the QAGS, which is the most expensive locally adaptive algorithm. Also, watch out if you have obvious irregular points or singular points in your integrand and try to supply them in argument number six. Next, we are going to look at an example on how to compute higher dimensional integrals by nesting quad f. But, uh, in the first example, we will look at a double integral. As you see in the table, I define the integrand in a formula, a1, and then I define the innermost integral using the first variable of integration, y1, and I define my limits from 0 to 1 minus x1. Then I define the outer integral in a3, now my integrand for the outer integral is the inner integral in A2, and now the variable of integration is x1, and my limits go from 0 to 1. A3, calculate, evaluating A3 will compute the value of the double integral. That can be ex systematically extended to calculate integrals of any order. We will demonstrate this next in Excel. Let's start by doing example 1. I'll start by defining my integrand. using x1 and y1 as my variables of integration. I'll, next, I will define the inner integral. Here's my integrand in B3. And now this is with respect to the variable of integration y1. And my limits go from 0 to 1 minus x1. Now this value doesn't really matter, it's an intermediate value, but it's important that actually it does evaluate to a value. So if you get any errors here, make sure that your limits are valid, they are not 0 to 0, etc. Just to make sure that you get some numerical value here, not an error, because if there is an error here, the next integral will fail. Excel will not evaluate it. Next I'll do the outer integral. Now I'm going to pass my inner integrand as my formula and my variable of integration here is x1 and my limits are from 0 to 1. This is the value of the double integral. We can repeat the same procedure here for this triple integral or volume integral and I am going to quickly demonstrate this using, because we have a simple integrand here, I'm just going to define it in line, 1 minus x1, and my first variable of integration is z1, and my limits go from 0 to 6 minus 3 times x1 minus 2 times y1. We calculate some value, it doesn't matter. Next, we are going to do the middle integral. 
this is my integrand for the middle integral and my variable for integration now is the y1 and my limits go from 0 to 3 minus 3 times x1 over 2 again we calculate some intermediate value now the third or outer integral is quad f of the middle integral and with respect to x1 from 0 to 2 and 3 is the value of this volume integral in this presentation we demonstrated the use of the integration function quad f in the calculus functions add-in from excel works there are a dozen other functions in the same add-in for performing all sort of calculus computations including differentiation interpolation solving equations differential equations including ordinary and partial differential equations as well as optimization these calculus functions are designed to work just like native built-in functions in excel and they can be combined together to solve increasingly complex problems very systematically and easily um, if you are interested in any of these calculations take a look at the examples included in excel-works.com thank you for watching